talking about the situation of COVID-19 in Nepal, there is panic all over. There is the need to implement preventive measures and a severe lack of necessary medical equipment and infrastructures in Nepal. And it does not have any double cab ambulances to transport highly infectious patients safely, uh, isolation wards in hospitals or better laboratories needed to test for highly infectious diseases. Uh, most people are running their day-to-day -day life because until and unless the country announces a lockdown itself, people have no choice. So this is the situation here and please uh, take as many precautions as you can wherever you are in the world. It's a sunny day in San Francisco with very very few people on the streets and almost all companies shut down. Life has come on a complete standstill for most people here as yesterday there was a shelter in place effect uh, implemented and starting today up for the next three weeks up until April 7th. Most people who work on minimum wage jobs here in the most expensive city in the United States are extremely worried, are filing for unemployment. There's a lot of panic uh, as to how the eco economy is going to emerge from this more than uh, the security of life. Corona update from Sri Lanka. It's been uh, about a week now and uh, we've been in our homes. Thanks for the government taking all the precautions. The death toll is zero. But a lot of uh, unfortunate people are being affected. Pollution has reduced by a lot. Uh, construction, deforestation, it all has reduced. It's a good eye-opener for all. Uh, I feel like we should uh, take all of this into consideration and be a bit more cautious and uh, try and not let it repeat again. I hope you guys are doing good and doing safe. Jen from XR Taiwan here. I think the government is doing really well overall because they had SARS in 2003, so they kind of know what's going on. We have over 100 cases right now from me saying this and two deaths. Also, the government is regulating the dispension of masks, which is really helping with the panic. I was in a house with somebody who turned out to have the virus. No one else has gotten the virus so far from that house, and it's been a week, so hopefully I'm fine. Soy Adrián Martínez, desde la Ciudad de México. El Estado no ha decretado alguna especie de confinamiento obligatorio. Se nos solicita estar en casa, todo lo que sea necesario, y distanciarnos entre los unos a los otros. En ocasiones me llega este sentimiento de, de tristeza, una profunda tristeza, por saber de las muertes de tantos de nuestros hermanos. Y pienso que es natural. Pienso que está bien dejar que mi espíritu sienta este dolor colectivo. De igual manera en que siento mucho orgullo por ver cómo la gente trata de cuidarse entre sí misma. Ver ese esfuerzo conjunto es muy inspirador y me hace sentir muy feliz. Pero así es la vida. Buena suerte.